first six years of this agreement and pay an average wage at or above the average wage for the county and agree to maintain the jobs in the county throughout the grant term. Uh, the project will include uh, site improvements, buildings, and installation machinery and equipment with a total anticipated investment of approximately $45 million with a minimum investment of $40 million to the county. Uh, in this agreement, the, the county agrees to provide the following incentives. The county will convey to the company approximately 60 acres um, located at 641 Plato Lee Road, Shelby. Uh, no later than January 31st of 2013, the company and the county will enter into a purchase agreement and an easement agreement. Uh, the company agrees to use its uh, best efforts to receive a certificate of occupancy for the project no later than within three years after the closing date of the property. Uh, if the company has not received a certificate of occupancy for the project within three years of the closing date um, due to an event beyond the reasonable control of the company, such as the acts of God, terrorism, fires, or other natural disasters, then uh, the company shall have an additional 12 month period to, to secure the certificate of occupancy. Uh, the county will work in coordination with the North Carolina Department of Transportation and the City of Shelby to provide a publicly maintained industrial access road into the project site, including the turning lane, if the turning lane is deemed necessary by the DOT. Uh, the access road shall be owned, operated, and maintained by the DOT or the city if the company requests the property be annexed. It shall be a two-lane heavy-duty road in accordance with DOT specs for, for um, Heavy duty roads um, capable of handling traffic of at least 60 heavy duty trucks per day. Um, the access road will be completed by no later than October 1st of 2013. Uh, the county also agrees to expedite the process and involve application for construction, zoning, and other permits. Uh, approvals are um, required by the county for the development of the project, which are under the direct control of the county. Uh, the county will also agree to waive all fees for permitting and inspections. Development and other types of fees only charged by the county for uh, uh, development for industrial projects. Uh, the company agrees to um, receive their certificate of occupancy for the project within 36 months of the execution of the agreement after the closing date of the property. Uh, the company shall maintain its investment uh, subject to depreciation uh, in the county for the duration of the grant term. Uh, the company will also operate. The project uh, substantially compliant with all applicable uh, laws, rules, regulations, and ordinances. It shall be current in the payment of uh, all ad valorem taxes and fees imposed on the company by the county or any municipality within the county. Uh, and they also will agree to conduct their operations at the project in compliance with all applicable federal, state, and local environmental regulations. The grant term for this project will be a 10 year period. Uh, the county shall make an incentive grant payment to the company in an annual amount equal to 75% of the total ad taxes paid by the company uh, to the county during the preceding calendar year for the first five years of the grant term, and 60% of the total ad taxes paid by the company to the county during the preceding calendar year for the last five years of the grant term, as long as the company remains compliant with this agreement. In addition, in the event that the company chooses to expand its operations in the future, uh, the county will use its best efforts to provide additional incentives. Uh, the company will commit to conduct uh, such an expansion uh, and create new jobs in the county. Uh, the county will agree to pursue grant funds to design and construction of a rail spur to serve the company at the property. Uh, commissioners, this uh, concludes a summary of the incentive agreement between Cleveland County and Project XL. Uh, the location of this company in Cleveland County uh, provides a great opportunity for our community by stimulating our local economy, uh, along with creation of a substantial number of jobs that uh, pay at or above the medium average, median average wage in the county. Uh, and after the public hearing, I uh, recommend the approval of this agreement. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh,
I'm here today on behalf of the Cleveland County Economic Development Partnership, and I'm here to speak in favor of the incentive package for Project Excel. Uh, Project Excel is an excellent company and a market leader in uh, manufacturing middle parts for the automotive industry. We've worked with this company for about the last year. We've had an opportunity to meet with them six or seven times here in Cleveland County. Kristen and I also did have the opportunity to travel to Europe their headquarters, negotiate with them, and also visited two of their plants while we were um, there in Europe. We found them to be a very, very well-managed company, again, that is a leader in the product line that they make. Uh, they're a company that any community in America would love to have located uh, in their community. Uh, we're very much in favor of uh, the passage of this incentive package. We want to thank you very much as the Board of Commissioners for the vision and what you done with my development here in Cleveland County and the city of Shelby. Um, you have truly made a difference in a lot of people's lives and a lot of people that have put, been put to work through some decisions that you've made, some, some vision and some leadership that you've had. So thank you very much for what you've done in the past and thank you for being your consideration for this project here today. Thank you. Thank you. Any other wishes to speak for or against the project? Yeah, 
few minutes. Uh, and that is something that I wanted to, uh, to uh, this panel to clarify for me while we were sitting here to let the member of the public how for or against the project. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm for it for the job opportunity. And, um, but whether or not it's going to bring any kind of uh, the culture of um, my membership of a church, I'm also concerned about that. I think that weighs more heavy than um, the job aspects for the county. So I'm saying that the county commission board, you are stay focused on the economic government, but the county will not versus what is not going to focus on the church. So I do ask that it be to a record that if the city does buy into that project, then it also takes into consideration that um, you might need to get closer from our country church not to have to be moved or be bought out by the town or be subjected to any kind of demand court proceedings uh, as a result of the church. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone wish to speak for or against? Okay, so that address her. 